Hi, Freddy. Hi, Jordan. Hi, Miley. It's good to see you this morning. Have you got Lego? Hi. I have a story to share with you this morning. And some of you may know this. Have any of you seen this book? On the day you were born? Have you seen it too? It's a great story. But it's worth seeing again. And I thought, because, because this is the first Sunday of Advent, and we're heading towards Christmas, and what happens on Christmas Day? What is it? Jesus is born. Yeah. It's a day that we remember uh, him being a baby and coming into this world. And so this book, we could think about it as uh, a book for him, but also for each of us. Do any of you remember the day you were born? <laughs> Do you remember that term? Some of us remember it because we've been told about it. But we were pretty small. Even I was really small. When I was small. <laughs> anyway, let's, let's hear this, this story. Ooh. On the eve of your birth, word of your coming passed from animal to animal. The reindeer told the Arctic terns, who told the humpback whales, who told the Pacific salmon, who told the monarch butterflies, who told the green turtles, who told the European eel, who told the busy garden warblers, and the marvelous news migrated worldwide. <clears throat> I think the pages are mixed up, <laughs> but any, uh, up here. <clears throat> oh, are they? That's the one. Yep. <laughs> no, I have While you waited in darkness, tiny <clears throat> knees curled to chin. The earth and her creatures with the sun and the moon all moved in their places, each ready to greet you the very first moment of the very first day you arrived. See everything moving in the earth? On the day you were born, the round planet Earth turned toward your morning sky, whirling past darkness, spinning the night into light. See the light? On the day you were born, gravity's strong pull held you to the earth with a promise that you would never float away. <coughs> While deep in space, the burning sun sent up towering flames, <coughs> lighting your sky from dawn until dusk. Big sun. On the day you were born, the quiet moon glowed and offered to bring a full, bright face each month to your windowsill. There's the moon. That's you. And you, and you, and you. Your curtains might be a different color, though. While high above the North Pole, Polaris, the glittering North Star, stood still, shining silver light into your night sky. See the star? Big star. It is a big star, isn't it? On the day you were born, the moon pulled on the ocean below, and wave by wave, a rising tide washed the beaches clean of your footprints. On the day you were born, a forest of tall trees collected the sunlight in their leaves where in silent mystery they made oxygen for you to breathe. You know that it's the trees that make it possible for us to breathe? There's the trees. While close to your skin and as high as the sky, air rushed in and blew about 
invisibly protecting you and all living things on earth. Can you feel the wind in here? I can feel it blowing from back there. It's really cold, isn't it? <laughs> on the day you were born, the earth turned, the moon pulled, the sun flared, and then, with a push, you slipped out of the dark quiet where suddenly you could hear a circle of people singing with voices familiar and clear. <coughs> Welcome to the spinning world, the people sang, and they washed your new tiny hands. Welcome to the green earth, the people sang, and they wrapped your wet, slippery body. And as they held you close, they whispered into your open, curving ear, We are so glad that you have come. I wonder what it would... I wonder what it would be like to be born. I wonder what that would feel like. story for today, and we're going to sing a song that's just like the story we heard called All Earth is Waiting. <laughs> 